Yes. Okay. So we are done with the carbon dioxide. Let's go to salt. Ah, these ones are simple. Ah, these ones are simple. Let, she, let, let, let me show you that uh, how simple they are. Regulation of water, uh, of, of water balance in the internal environment, which we call osmo regulation. Whenever you talk about osmo, we mean whenever you talk about osmo. Osmo means water. Don't forget that we said osmosis, movement of water molecules from region of low concentration to region of high concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. Or region, movement of water molecules from region of their high concentration. The water mole molecules where they are highly concentrated mean that it's a dilute solution to a region of what? Uh, they are low concentration, meaning that a, a high concentrated solution across the semi-permeable membrane. Meaning that whenever you talk about osmo, you're talking about water. So, don't forget the te technique I, 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 I taught you that if you have decrease, here is, is decrease, it's actually decrease. Uh, by the way, guys, it does not mean that uh, because this thing is facing up, then it must be always increased. No, it is not up. This is not up and this is not down. It's just a screen. It's just a screen. When you draw, when you do Africa and you see that the, the river is flowing like that, have you ever seen a river flowing from low to high? No, there is no river. It's just a paper or it's just a screen. So this is not necessarily meaning that this is up, this is down. No. So um, please take note of that. So. It must not confuse you that whenever you see something going up, then it's up. No. So, so now we are saying that the, there is a decrease. Definitely the last more must be increase or rise or more. Anything which is related to increase. Increase. You understand? It must be. Because we started with the decrease. So now the two steps are done. Now, I need to know the gland, which hormone does it produce, and the function of the hormone being produced here. And then I'm done. The negative feedback mechanism or the osmoregeneration is done. Simple. Okay. What are level degrees? The periodic gland. Ah. Some students, they have confusion here. What hormone produces ADH? Sorry, which gland produces ADH? The gland is hypothalamus. Why are we talking about pituitary gland here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me give you an example, uh, an answer. The hormone ADH, antidiuretic hormone, make sure that you know how to write it. Antidiuretic hormone. Yes, is being produced by hypothalamus, but is stored in the pituitary gland. So when you use hypothalamus here, make sure that you know how to link it. So is stored because the pituitary gland or hypophysis, sometimes called call it hypophysis, please don't call it master gland. Please, we won't give you a tick. If, 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 if I ask you, what is my name? And you tell me, I'm um, teacher. That's not my name. That's my job. So, so when you call it master gland because it controls most of the glands. So please don't call it master gland. Call it hypophysis or pyrrhic gland. Its name is pyrrhic gland. You understand? Or hypophysis is cool. So, secret more ADH. What is the function of ADH and where does it work? ADH works in the 
in the kidden. It works in the kidden where the nephrons are. Yes. So it works in the kidney where in the nephron. It brings about high permeability. Permeable. When you talk about permeability, we are talking about allowing, allowing some, some substances to go through something. Yes. So we call it permeability. Highly permeable. You understand? We call it highly permeable. So it allows, we talk about high permeability, allows some substances to go through. So ADH, the function of ADH, it goes to the nephron. I think you remember the structure of a nephron. If I, 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 let me show you here. In the distal convergence tube, uh, because this is grade 11 work, né? but some people now, they are forgotten. Uh, the structure of a nephron, but it's simple. Let me show you how it looks like. Okay, if this is the, the Bowman's capsule, it's great. I'm just drawing a simple thing so that you can understand it better. This is the proximal converted tubule. Yes, it goes down like that. Proximal converted tubule. Yes, now you have the descending loop of Henry, descending loop of Henry, and then you have the ascending loop of Henry. Then you have Mm -mm. Yes, you have uh, the distal converted tubule, the distal converted tubule, and then it's connected to the collecting duct. And here you have the afferent vessel. Here you have the glomerulus. Yes, the glomerulus, and then you have the efferent vessel. Afferent vessel must be bigger than the efferent vessel. That's not a big deal. That's grade 11 one. So what I want is ADH. This ADH will come here in the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct. These are the, this is the collecting duct, which connects to the ureter and then to the bladder. Yes, it comes here and makes it more permeable. Because we have less amount of water in the blood, meaning that you're urinating urine which is yellowish. When you urinate urine which is yellowish, you just know that you have less amount of water in the blood. Therefore, you're supposed to drink more water. Meaning that more water is being reabsorbed back to the blood. Or if you eat uh, something which is salty, if you eat meat, eh, people who go to cheese and nyama, eh, yes, you eat that hot, yeah, nyama, eh, yes, please make sure that you drink water. Why? Because these proteins, they require more water for it to be metabolized. Yes. So now, now what happens? is this ADH will make this nephron, the walls of the nephron, this one, the distal converted tubule, to become more permeable. When it becomes more permeable, it means that now more blood, more water is being reabsorbed. The word is reabsorbed, reabsorbed back to the blood. And then now less is being lost as urine because what remains here in this tube is urine. So meaning that Less water is lost through urine, and then now more water is being reabsorbed back to the nephron, mm -mm, to the bloody vessels. So that's why here we are saying that the pituitary gland will secrete ADH. That's one is fine, but this ADH must be more. What is the function of ADH? I explain this so that you understand the idea behind. The permeability of the collecting duct and the distal completed tubules will increase the permeability, meaning that it will become more permeable. It will become, it will allow more, more, more water to go through. You understand? Yes. So where here in the distal complete tube and the collecting duct, and then if more water is being reabsorbed back to the blood, meaning that more water is re, the word is re, guys. Please don't use Mora is absorbed. You will, we will cross it with the happiness. Why? Why happiness? Because I've told you and you have not taken it as a knot. Please don't use absorption. Is reabsorption. Now someone can ask me, why reabsorption? It's because the first absorption occurs in the, in the digestive system. This is the second absorption. Hence, we say re absorption of water to the blood. Can I please have this video after the lesson? 
Yes, the video will be there. Yes. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to others. Ne? Yes. Uh -huh. So we are saying that, uh, I, yes, yeah, I think I've uh, answered you. They're saying that uh, more water is reabsorbed back to blood. And then once more water is reabsorbed, automatically the water level increases. That's why you say that decrease here. The last statement must be increased. More water is reabsorbed back to the blood. In other words, you're going to produce more concentrated, more conch, concentrated urine. The urine is going to be more yellowish. Less water is going to be lost as urine and more salts are going to be lost as urine. That's the meaning. What about when the love of water in the blood is too much? We said that our blood, our body is made up of over 75% water. I hope we need water. Don't forget that too much of anything is always bad. Meaning that however much water is important in our life, but too much of it is bad. Yes. So, water level decrease, increase. Definitely, the last statement must be water level will decrease. Or anything which is related to decrease. Less water. More water. I see. So now I need to know which gland. I know the gland. Meaning, pituitary, the pituitary gland. So I... What's the function of the gland? It's gonna because I have more water, I don't need more reabsorption here, then automatically I'm gonna produce less ADH or completely stops. ADH will completely stop depending on how much water is there or is needed in the blood. And then now, meaning that the periodic gland here, the hypophysis is gonna stop secreting water. Yes, the water, the permeability of the collecting duct and the distal convoluted tube will decrease. Meaning that less water is going to be reabsorbed. Meaning that more of it is going to be lost as urine. This is the time when you urinate urine, which is yellowish. Mm -mm. Colorless, not yellowish. Colorless, meaning that you have a lot of water in the blood. And this is the time where I don't think you might feel thirsty. You might have that thirstiness. Why? Because you have a lot of water in the blood. This is it. When water level is decreased, you, you produce yellowish uh, urine. That's the time where you're going to be thirsty. Yes. And if water is colorless, then that's the time when the water is not going to be, the, the urine is not going to be thirsty. Eh, did I say thirsty? Colorless. So when it is uh, yellowish, it's smelling too much because of the other waste products which are there. But when it's like this, then automatically when it's colorless, it's not going to be that you are smelling because the water has diluted those uh, other ions and wastes. So basically, when there is too much water, there is the last statement must be decreased. The periodic gland will stop or produce less uh, ADH. You use one. You don't write slash, yes. The permeability of the collecting duct and the distal computer tube will decrease and then less water is going to be reabsorbed back to blood. And meaning that more is going to be lost as urine. Hmm. Guys, am I clear? Are you getting it? Do you have anything you have added to your knowledge today? Yes? Did, did you have anything? Young Sir is asking, when is the next class? Friday and Saturday. Yes, Friday and Saturdays. All right. Let's continue and say that when blood has more water. Okay, this is just a description of what you have explained. What a blood, when a blood has less water, than the normal, the hypothalamus is stimulated. You see, I told you that you need to know how to connect if you are using the word hypothalamus or you are using 
the pituitary gland. Both of them are fine, as long as you explain them correctly. Then uh, the hypothalamus is going to be stimulated and it's going to send the impulse to the pituitary gland. Why it sends the impulse to the pituitary gland? Because the pituitary gland stores it. And then now the pituitary gland is going to secrete more ADH. You see, then this ADH is going to travel in the blood to the kidney. Where exactly in the kidney? In the nephron. And then uh, this ADH is going to increase. What's the function of that hormone? Is to increase the permeability of the, the nephron. And then after that, water is reabsorbed back to, more water is reabsorbed back to the blood. Meaning that less is lost as what? As the urine. So water level in the blood returns back to normal. And then the other way is the same thing. When blood, when blood has more water than the normal, the hypothalamus is stimulated and then the impulse is sent to the pituitary gland. And then what happens? Less ADH. Or no, no ADH is produced. So you, you, you choose whatever you want to, to, to write. Either less or no. Or depending on the scenario they have brought you in the exam. So less travel in the blood to the kidney. And then what happens? There is decrease in the permeability, meaning that the walls, they're going to become uh, less permeable. It does not allow water to go through. And then now less water is reabsorbed back to blood, meaning that more is lost as what? As urine. Here less is lost as urine. Here more is lost as urine. This is yellowish, yellowish urine. And then this is the color, less urine. Yes. And then now this is smelling urine. And this is, I don't know, odorless. Water level in the uh, uh, blood returns back to normal. I think the way how I've explained it here, what about the salt? So you guys,